Glory to Jesus. Happy New Year, everyone. I wish you God's blessings for this year. I pray for you, as the Lord has said to me, that this year is the year of Haman. What is the Haman? The big Haman simply means you saying yes to the years of Jesus. That is coming in alignment with what Jesus has said. Coming in alignment with the promises of Christ for you. Hallelujah. Today, we're going to look at Genesis 29, verse 17. Genesis 29, verse 17. Leah was, te was tender hide, but Rachel was beautiful and well favored. Remember, Jacob wanted Leah, I mean, wanted Rachel. And, and, and Laban said, Serve me for seven years to be able to have Rachel. And after he served for that number of years, Laban gave him Leah. And he said, This is not what I asked for. And he served again and again before he could have Rachel. And before all of them were set free to go. You all know the story for, for believers hearing me. The book of Genesis 29. Hallelujah. Do you see that? So it's very good you know that the word used as tender hide. Some versions use the word weak eyes. It was an idiom in Canaan. It was an idiom. The Canaanite language use it as a semi in the Semitic look in, in the Canaan language is used as an idiom. Do you see that? So it wasn't a literal like weak eyes, like half past high. You 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 understand that? Like half past eyes something. That's not what he's saying. Is that clear? So it's good you understand what the word tender hide means. What the word tender hide means. Alright? So come with me. The, the Semitic root in the Hebrew of the word tender high is the word rakak. R A K A K. The word rakak. So the word rakak is an idiom word that carries the concept of weakness from the idea of a person. Do you see that? That has a such tender heart that could not go hunting. Do you see that? Because they could not bear the harm of an innocent animal, even for their own survivor. So it's an idiomatic expression, rak rakak, that expresses someone that could not bear the innocent animal being killed when they go for hunting. So this idiom expresses the idea of a gentle, loving, and caring person, even at the expense of their own life. That is what the tender hide means. Rakak, which is an idiomatic expression for someone that has such a tender heart, an innocent heart, that could not bear the sight of going hunting, even not to now talk of killing an animal, even down for, to their own survivor. I believe you get that picture. Let's say they tell me now that I have to kill this chicken for me to live. Do you see that? And I say, I cannot let the chicken leave. Do you see that? Which means, I'm, to, the, to the detriment of my own survival, I'm saying, let, I can't do that. That's a picture of what the hedion that means, the tender heart. And when you look at it, the, 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 the one that fits into these into this descriptions is no other person than Jesus Christ. That the someone that could not afford something to happen to you at the expense of his own of his own life he died he said for us to rather pay for our sins i die in your place i can't watch you die so back to the context jacob wanted rachel but do you now see that we have painted laban a wrong man for all these years laban was able to conceive and perceive the will of god concerning jacob and knowing carefully where that Leah is connected. Leah is connected to the lineage of Sarah. Do you see that? That carries the promise. So Laban was trying to align Jacob to the will of God, the tender hide. But Jacob said no. Jacob was, dist was distracted by sight. He said, no, it is the beautiful one I needed. Likewise, I can tell you categorically that Laban made the right decision by giving Jacob, by giving Leah to Jacob, brother. Hallelujah, somebody. I believe you are catching these things. 
the idiomatic word for tender hard rakak simply means someone that is tender hard hearted somebody that could not bear the sight of killing an animal in hunting even at the detriment of their own soul Hallelujah. So you could imagine that Jacob was struggling for, with the acceptance of Leah. That's a picture of Christ. As, struggling to align to the will of God. He kept serving for years. He kept serving for years. So the problem is not for that Laban kept him for so long. The problem was that Jacob was not able to discern the will of God for his life on time. I didn't mean acceptance has, has, has come to play. All these things, all the years of his service must have been cut short. So in a such way, for someone listening to me right now, you need to align with the will of God. You need to align yourself with the will of God because these are the things that kept us in many years serving without result, serving without direction. Do you see that? You, in the line of your business, you might be thinking, I'm doing this, I'm doing it, not this working. You need to check it out. Am I aligning with the will of Is this the will of God for me? Am I aligning with the will of God? Hallelujah. Let me stop here for today. I believe this word has been a blessing to you. I decree into your life. This is your year of amen. What did I mean by amen? 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20. We say yes to the yes of Jesus. You know that word? It is not the work of Christ to pray. It is your duty to pray. So when we pray, we are coming in agreement with, with the promise of God that is valid. Do you see that? And that is the big amen we have received in Christ. The Lord bless you, everyone, in the name of Jesus. I see you again next week by the grace of God. Stay blessed in the name of Jesus.